Alright guys, welcome to another episode of Tapped Out Auto. It's your boy, Dirty Boy. What's going on today, guys? We have a 2012 uh, Chevy Cruze. And, uh, helping this lady out. You know, a lot of people and stuff like that keep saying, well, the reason why uh, they bought, buy these is because the Chevrolet house is just pretty much just given away. Well, there's a reason. But uh, we are changing the fan on this. Y'all can see this thing here. I mean, it just vibrates to all hell driving this thing. And she says she paid a, uh, somebody to replace this at once. And, uh, well, they must have found the cheapest one ever. But I know there's a few videos on these and stuff like that that's on there. But the one I just seen and stuff like that, just to make sure I know how to do this, has got the transmission lines that goes across here. This one does not. This plug, though, I did take it off off camera and stuff like that because I just uh, wanted to make sure. And, uh, you know, I just didn't want to look like a dumbass. This plug is a pain in the ass to get off. It really is. Uh, you don't need two people to take it off. But uh, it's most definitely a pain in the ass to get off. Probably one of the hardest. Alright guys. I'm going to try to get y'all. Where we all can see better here. Alright. I'll get y'all some. Gotta put a towel over the camera because uh, I think the camera's overheating a little bit. Right, let's see here. Okay. And it is hot out here. Holy shit. Alright, we have one. Um, I'll get you a set of these right here. A little popper. Right. Oh. Now that guy was telling me on the YouTube channel that guys charge seven hundred dollars at a mechanic shop to change this out. I think she told me she paid four. Are you serious? Oh come on, really? Alright guys, I gotta find my damn scooter.
All right. A little bit of a phone call. Didn't want to copyright. Now, let's see here. Why does Shibley make this so damn hard? Looks like there's like a metal line that's in my way. I think it's going to try to bend it over a little bit. Now, the video I seen, they said to take off the transmission lines. Uh, on this one here, how the fuck are you going to do that? There's nothing to grab a hold of. Man, this is one flimsy ass fan. Absolutely cannot see what the fuck is holding it. And if this damn bracket right here was out my way, I don't know if it's actually held on by that boat or what. Huh. You get a half pitch take off that boat. We've been recording, haven't we? Yeah, I guess so. Hopefully, got some footage for today. Oh, we're gonna take off over here. This is completely different than the video I was watching. The rag I go away so y'all can see, huh? There we go. Well, one. Okay, Chevrolet, what the fuck? Really? Fuck the spot welded? Alright. What the fuck? There's nothing holding this fucking thing. Absolutely nothing. There it is. Holy shit. Oh, look at that, guys. Whew. Alright, I don't see $700. I think I'm down here seeing 65 That was hard. But on the both bottoms here, there's those little push tabs. Let me show up here where y'all can see some because I can't see shit. Where y'all at? There we go. Alright. See here on the bottom? Here and here there's these little push tabs that you push in and this slides up. Alright. Now look how that flexes. 
That is weird. Alright, I'm gonna get the new one. Hey guys, here's the new one. This one here is nice and stiff. Doesn't flex. Yeah. Alright. One thing about I was worried about with this car is we have some really bumpy roads through here. And uh I was afraid she was gonna knock a hole in her damn radiator as much as damn thing flap up and down. I mean it really like was smacking the radiator quite a bit. Now before I put this in, I'm gonna show y'all guys something. Show y'all what I did. Ain't gonna be like those other YouTubers. Okay. Get y'all down in here. Yeah, y'all can see, can't y'all? Alright. So this right here, a little clip right there. And it's got a right there. You gotta push that clip in and there's another one just like it on the other side. And uh right here, you just gotta pry these two lines just a little bit to get that uh nipple through there. But you see nothing damaged. Everything great. Cool. You know what I uh I thought those because this thing does have a turbo on it. I thought those were uh intercooler hoses, but no those are radiator hoses. I only see uh oh there it is. Okay, so there must be like the tiniest intercooler in the world on here. Alright guys, let's see if we can't get this thing back in. Thicker than the other one. Why? What in the hell? Oh, I don't see me pulling off this damn inner tube. Conditioner lines are about in the damn way. That damn big ass plug that hooks into it. Pretty ridiculous. There it is. Just takes a little bit of finesse. Y'all watching, guys? A little bit of finesse. Man, that's dumb, man. Ow! Mm. There it is. There we go. Be smooth or something. Oh. 
of weird. I'm gonna go look at something real quick, guys. I'll be right back. Shit, guys, I thought I was recording the whole damn time, and I wasn't. Alright, I got it in there. That wasn't too bad. Um, actually, that was a bitch, to tell you the truth. Um, this one here had a little bit of a lip on this side of the bottom. Um, manufactory default. The other one did not have that lip. Had to uh, grind down the lip a little bit, stuff like that. But once I did that, it went right in. I'm trying to show y'all guys, but I guess the damn camera wasn't on. Alright. Put all this. Oh. Tell you the truth, this is the easiest, hardest fan I've ever done. Let's just go with that. Easiest, hardest fan I've ever done. Oh yeah, that doesn't move not near as much as that damn other one. That's all plugged in good. Oh yeah, we're looking great. Now we just bend this back down. The boat back in it. I will straighten that up. All this is is just for the uh, hood holder. I mean that's it ain't nothing major but yeah I'm guessing that uh, yeah you gotta pull off the intercooler lines I mean if you were doing this in a shop I'd say you'd have to drain the radiator take off the bottom radiator hose which looks like a bitch a royal bitch uh, like the intercooler um, both intercooler lines and it looks like you would have to suck out the AC to move out the AC lines. That's if you was in a dealership. So I can see probably why they would charge you $700. I mean, a little bit of this, a little bit of that, and hey. We did it. Didn't puncture anything. Alright. Alright guys, that's going to be for it for this video. I would exchange out a cooling fan and a 2012 Chevy Cruze but there it is no bolts required no well you gotta take off this one right here if you want to do it like I did yeah it just went right on in there no damage to the radiator nothing that's pretty cool alright guys we're gonna go to the uh we're going to do rear brakes on this, so that would be the next video. So, we're going to get ready for that. Later. Alright guys, what's going on? Sorry that I have not uh, showed y'all taking any of this off. I already did the other side. I'm just doing this side now, and uh, I've had about a hell of a time getting these damn drums off of here. Uh, for some reason, these pads, I don't know if they're factory or what, but... These damn shoes right here were welded on. I don't even know how this car moved. But, uh, yeah, that was a pain in the ass. But y'all can see me how to put it together. Um, it's not really, it's a lot easier putting it back together than it's taking everything off. Um, especially this. This little pin right here comes with a new hardware kit. I would suggest getting that. And this pin here, you have to actually hammer it into the uh, emergency brake lever and the brake shoe. Uh, vice or something like that would be really helpful to use for this. But uh, say my apologies guys that I didn't show you all this. I had a couple people stop by and talk to me wanting to know about what's going on with their cars. And uh, good news, the uh, Camaro is paid off guys. Got the title in the house. So, uh, hopefully, hopefully tomorrow I get that piece for the, uh, that Buick Enclave in there, guys. And hopefully, hopefully this week we'll have it in. Okay. Yeah. This hooks in like that, as you'll see. Show y'all. See this little hook right here? 
just took right into here this emergency brake cable. Y'all see that? That's kind of cool. I do, I do have to say I do like that. That's kind of different. So, thing here. Now, what am I doing wrong, guys? Did I put... Ah, oh, fuck. Hang on a minute, guys. I made a boo-boo. This is on. Uh, I need to turn this around. Alright, guys. We're back. Make sure that that's facing the right way. See this hump right here? This hump's got to be facing you. Completely my fault. Been one of them days. For a Sunday, it's been a damn day. Okay. Now, this thing still hooks right on there. Like I showed y'all. That's a little better. And we're gonna take these little just like that. Y'all see anything? over here so y'all can see some shit. I don't like being one of them YouTubers that doesn't sell y'all shit. Let's see. Cute. And yes, you can also use a pair of needle nose vice grips to put these on too. I just like my little too. This is I found this thing at the snap-on one. I found this thing, shit, ten years ago at a auction sale. I bought a bunch of tools and it was laying in the toolbox of one of the toolboxes that I bought. And, uh, yeah, that thing's a great tool, guys. Really great tool. Okay, now we got this. This goes up on here, but he's going to go ahead and put the... In here. Now it does come with like these uh, little rubber drometers that's inside here. It comes with brand new one of the, those. I don't know why that they come out with uh, those new plugs. There's no reason for you to take them off. Um, I guess if you're in a dealership and doing an inspection on the brakes, because that's the only thing I can see that they are is inspection uh, windows. Um, I guess if you do that in a dealership, I guess you're you know you gotta replace them but other than that I don't see the point in that holy shit what the hell is going on here okay, weird. I've been having hell with this side and don't know why there okay oh that's that I got this little green one Go down here in the bottom, and I'll show y'all after that. So I thought I'd make two separate videos, but uh, we're just gonna make it. One. Holy shit! Popped right in its place. Awesome, man, that one got hurt the neck. Okay, now we got ready to go. Um we have this. We need uh there it is. This whole thing. Okay, this thing here has got a little spot where it goes on right there. And then this little cutout groove, this thing here sits in there. We gotta put this on this side. Let's see, nope, it was this way. Like that. Like that. And this little hook piece and right on there in that in the middle just like that and 
Wait a minute, wait a minute. Uh, yeah, we got that fifth on the other five, ladies and gentlemen. Remember, everything's in reverse. Okay, just lay like that. Look at this. Kind of weird how the fuck. Did the other side, and I'm doing this side just like I did the other side. So it's actually not too bad. It's kind of basic. I mean, everything goes in its place. There's really, no way you can actually mess this up. Really, um, there's just not. Uh, everything kind of fits in its own spot and you can't actually put it into another spot. Ah, and there it is guys. That's it. That's the end of that. That wasn't bad. Show y'all real quick. Ah, there we go. All nice and done. See how this little spring is? Let me get y'all. There we go. See that little spring is right here? Need to make sure it's behind this little metal lip. It popped itself in there pretty nice. Alright guys. I'll tell you what. I'm about done for the day, but I say we got the Camaro is paid for. Um, got it paid for this morning. And uh, the uh, be sure and wipe your drums out with a rag and if they don't I mean these don't look bad but I mean if it's got like a whole bunch of crap in it stuff like that go ahead and spray it out with brake clean if you need to um, hopefully the part is uh, gonna be here tomorrow and uh, We are going to, uh, the fuel pump went out of, uh, Holly Berry. So we are going to, I uh, already got all the parts, the paint, all that stuff today. We are going to, uh, put the rear frame section in Holly Berry tomorrow. Y'all guys are interested in watching that. And then, uh, I'm hoping tomorrow that part comes for that Buick. We can get back on that Tuesday and uh, hopefully get that knocked out by this weekend. I, sh I, I say I don't have that much time left on it. I think I should have only about maybe a day, two days at the most. And then we can get that Camaro in here. Start doing things on it. Well, guys, that's it. That's all she wrote. Throw the tire on. Stiff. Not nothing to really do about it. It's just it all the way out. So hopefully stuff like that doesn't work itself in, but at least it's not <laughs> like it was on this son bitch when I got to it. Alright guys, that's gonna be it of the video. Hope y'all liked it. Hope y'all enjoy it. Give me a thumbs up. Tell me y'all stops. And we'll get back after tomorrow. This is Dirty Boy. I sure appreciate all my subscribers. I appreciate everybody for watching. Y'all guys have a good night. Later.